Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about jealousy for men and the topic for this video is why your jealousy outbreaks might bring her, take her away from you, drive her away. Why would a room, woman run away? It's because it's freaking uncomfortable to have a man getting jealous out of no, no place, no, no, without reason. Or sometimes the reasons are so small, so tiny, and the energetic reaction is so strong. And she goes like, what the fuck, man? I didn't do anything. I just put some makeup on. I just, I just had a chat with, with a colleague. I'm not, I'm not trying to sleep with that person. I'm just connecting with other human beings. So it's not a big deal. So your jealousy outbreaks are a threat on her system. A woman, you know, she's programmed to create safety for children. Again, back to cave age, uh, you know, this is how she's going to scan potential partners for making babies and being together on the long term. So she needs to feel safe. She needs to know that you know how to pace yourself and you know when is the right time to use your anger and fire and power and then it's not. You know, it's again, you have this word, this, you have these powers, these psychic energy powers inside of you and you must know how to use them and how to control them, how to direct them so that you can protect what you love and, you know, destroy or kill whatever is a threat to what you know, what you love, to what you try to sustain in your life. So, an energetic or emotional attack, a jealousy outbreak on your girlfriend or your wife, it doesn't feel good, okay? It's an attack on her system. So, what's gonna happen if a woman is exposed to that? You know, imagine that you have been dating for like two, three months, you are still in the romantic zone, that's great, everything is going great, you are surfing these beautiful waves of romantic energy, and then you start entering into this zone where more shadows come in, and then you start feeling these uncomfortable jealousy emotions. You see her doing things that you go like, oh, that's, I don't like that. Mm, it's so, you know, you start, you start feeling it. The, the, the little, uh, you know, jealousy triggers coming to the surface and before you know it, you have a whole story around that. And so you voice it the first time. The first time you voice it, she goes like, oh, we were doing so good. We were doing so great. We were in this beautiful romantic date right now. And then suddenly here we, here we go. Now we have a jealousy outbreak. She might not name it, but I can tell you that the feeling that it creates in her, she will know exactly what that means. It means that. It means, it means trouble, it means processing, it means therapy, it means, uh, you know, it means effort, it means pain, it means suffering in her system. And so it happens once, you know, if you are in the beauty zone, in the romance zone for 80% of the time, that's, that's great, she can take it, she can take it, it's fine, she's going to navigate it from a place of like, yeah, that's fine, you know, we have great sex, etc. but every now and then there is an outbreak. So there is a certain measure, there is certain trouble or certain challenges that she can take for a while. But what tends to happen very often, especially if you are a, a guy who, um, you know, who tends to be very sensitive, very prone to, to jealousy outbreaks, those outbreaks are going to become more intense and more frequent. And before you know it, you are in processing zone, you know, maybe half the time. You are in good resonance, you're having a great time for, you know, most, you know, maybe half of the time, and then you enter into these zones where there is fight, conflict, triggers, uh, and, and jealousy outbreaks coming in. So, after a while, what's gonna happen in her system, she's gonna start feeling energetically saturated by this energy. It means that the discomfort and the anger or frustration that comes into, your, into her system, the, the energy that is projected on, projected on her is going to start feeling really bad. Okay? It accumulates itself as a form of tension, as a form of contraction that brings her to retreat, cocoon inside of her towards herself. And so you have to understand that if you want to generate great loving connection with this woman, you have to be able to design an energetic space that feels really good to her, that feels great. 
a little bit of challenge and fire and edge here and there, that's fine. That nurtures the relationship. You don't have to be like the perfect, nice guy. This is not what we're talking about. You don't have to be perfect. You can have imperfections. You can, you can be just real. But you have to be able to play with this emotion from a place where you're not, you know, fucking projecting the same amount or the same kind of anger energy towards her system. Because again, you know, if she keeps, if she keeps being punched by you over and over again, you know, energetically over and over, then it accumulates into her system after a while. The only way for her to survive is to say, you know what, I'm out of here. I'm not enjoying this anymore. You're trying to control every aspect of my life. You are being demanding, you are being pushy, you, you are creating fights all the time, you feel unhappy, you know, what's going on? Okay, so after a while, you know, she might try for a while to stay present with you, but after a while she might be like, you know what, I'm done. I want to feel to be at peace. I want to have a good time in this relationship, and we are not making it work. Or worse, you know, you might enter into this spinning uh, spiral where um, you project negativity on her, she projects it on you, and then you have this ongoing battle, energetic and emotional battle, where neither of you survives in uh, in happiness. And you know that, right? Frequent jealousy outbreaks are not creating happiness either for you, or for your couple, or for her. So, yeah, check the coming videos. There is more tips coming on soon on how to shift those patterns. But the first thing is to understand this is, how, this is why it doesn't work. If you keep on projecting, you know, or expressing your jealousy outbreaks out of nowhere, guess what's going to happen? She's just going to run away.